Terry and Shirley Gota used to have one of the best reputations in town. So why on earth did they attend a country music festival with a dead body in their boot? He's got the angry look. Yeah, yeah, that's like what I'll be like when I get to Shirley Gota. Let Chucky loose on Shirley? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think you've been through enough shit instead of some silly making up all these lies? Who is your mother? Do you make a habit of swearing at customers, Shirley? No, hang on a sec. I just want to smash her. Stop. Would you mind turning it off? Are you Australia's worst funeral directors? Well, the thing is... Ashes to ashes, dust to dust up. You can understand one family's anger when dearly departed Grandma Judy turned up to her funeral here, not in the back of a hearse, but in the tray of a panel van. And that's just the start of this almighty horror show. Grandma. Judy never took life too seriously. The matriarch's wicked sense of humour, fondly remembered by her eldest daughter, Diane, and her hubby, Terence. <laughs> She had a real practical joker though, Mum. Was she? I'm oh, she was. <laughs> and you touch things, or oh, you'd take a box of chocolates and you'd take the lid off and a jumping jacket would come out of yeah. <laughs> Judy prepaid undertakers Terry and Shirley Gota six and a half grand for her funeral. But turning up to the service in the back of a panel van wasn't part of the deal, and sits her other daughter, Kay. My son said, you know, where's the hearse? And she said, we didn't have time to pick it up. And even the stand at the funeral, he put the coffin on. It was all cobwebbed and um, yeah. dusty. The Gotas collected Judy from the peaceful Fairview retirement home on Friday night. Instead of taking her to the morgue, Terry and Shirley dropped her off in this absolute dump in the dead centre of an industrial estate. You could probably got a chest freezer out the back, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly, could have put her in there. The next day, Judy was left parked in the driveway while Terry and Shirley enjoyed a rollicking day out at the annual Bingara Orange Festival, posting these videos on Facebook. It took nearly 24 hours for the Gotas to deliver Judy to the morgue. When you look at that car, what do you think? Just horror. It's a horror movie. Just can't believe it at the yard. A dog, a dog wouldn't come here to lay. Poor old Judy was surrounded by fallen angels, cast aside crucifixes and cheap cans of booze. The courtesy limos carked it while a hearse is sprouting weeds. Oh, chill, don't talk to me yet, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm too pissed. No, no, I'm listening, Terry. I'm listening. So Kay and her daughter Amy confronted the undertakers with their smartphone rolling. There was your mother in the back of that... Van for nearly 24 hours. Mom, no, don't you mom, do that, Shirley. Mom, I could rip mom, your mom, head mom, off mom, now. Shut it up, your The panel van is put to good use again today with a trip to the ATM for some of that prepaid funeral cash. We catch up with Shirley and Terry the next day at the supermarket. Hi there, Shirley. My name's Steve Marshall from The Current Affair. I've got a couple of questions for you about your funeral business. Is it a matter of wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, whacker no. in the back of the panel van? No. No. Did you have a good time at the Orange Festival? We went up there. Well, like I say, we, we'd already booked it long before. So why did you click the body on the Friday night if you knew you were going out in the morning? Well, because it had to be gotten out of Fairview Nursing Home. It? But Judy, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah Judy's we... Judy. She's not an it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, we just we want just to see if the van works. Of course it works. Can we please see Go see and it? have a look. Yeah. Pop in it if you want to. Terry and Shirley say they left the motor running all night to keep Judy chilled. They also admit switching it off before heading to the Orange Festival. Well, if we'd left it going and there was a short in the car and caught on fire, we'd be in more shit, wouldn't we? Could you imagine how the family would feel if that had happened? But Why? some silly oh, making it up because I'm, they're saying she I was decomposed. They never said she was decomposed. They did. She was deshevelled. What? Why wouldn't you? You're at the 
orange festival with my mother in the back of that uh, bed. We have not done a f***ing thing wrong. The Goaters say there's no drama because Judy's body was in transit, in line with New South Wales health regulations. Is a body in the back of your van parked in your driveway in transit? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, inside the yard. But the wheels aren't moving? No. no. So how can that be transit? Well, like I say, you're allowed the ADS. And that's all we took advantage of. I said, look in the dictionary what transit means. It means moving, not parked in the shed. Yeah. And it takes it down to about three degrees. And this is all uh, insulated. And it'll stay cold for hours after you turn it off. Is that the right thing to do, though, Terry? Oh, yeah, we weren't doing the wrong thing. It was winter time, uh, middle of winter. It might have been early July, but at the nearby Orange Festival, it was blue skies and short sleeve shirts. How would you rate your service for Judy? Uh, one, one to ten in terms of decency. Well, we did everything right. I'd say eight. An because, eight out of ten? Yeah. Check with the health department and ask what they have to say. So you want me to ask the health department, yes. is it OK for funeral directors to leave a body in their car unrefrigerated when they have a knees up in an orange festival? Is that what you, is that what you want me to oh, ask? Oh, yes, if you want to. Mate, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do it to a dog, you know? Like, um, well, I know I, I definitely wouldn't. Judy's grandson, Matt, also headed out with Terry and Shirley. Done it for you, mate. Yeah. You're, lucky you're, you're lucky you're not a bloke. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Knock your yeah. head off. Yeah, like yeah. Okay. Knock your yeah. block off too. We'll do, do, it. It. do you usually swear at customers though? No, not when they're abusing you and wanting to punch your head in. But in terms of teaching someone a lesson, Di, is that the. Yeah, and then I'd kneecap them. You know, you know <laughs> sit them down here like that. Yeah, no. You know, that was my mum, and I only got one mum in this life. Now I haven't got her, so it was justice has got to be done for her. So can you just show me now and it'll be all over and done with? Don't ask Terry, you f***ing do it yourself. You get into the yard, mate, or I'll f***ing pull you out of here, Shirley. How do you think my no. mother felt? No. Now, no. get out of the f***ing car, I'll pull you out. Go. Just show us. We've got nothing to hide, just show yes. us. Were you there with Kate? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're the one that was going to knock our block off. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. And nothing happened yeah. that day. I made sure that Did they stayed her? away from you. No, that's but right. the threats. But yeah, there is an AVR coming out oh, on you and Lisa. Right. The camera's here. Nothing, nothing's going to happen to you, OK? OK? Yeah, we just we can get in. We'll call the police to come if, over. If they want to call the police. Bring them here. Do you mind turning it off? Hello, Shirley. They're allowed to film in a public place. Come and have a camera. Just wait there, please. Yeah. Di, what do you make of the... Uh, Police being called. Oh, ridiculous. She's got something to hide big time. Shirley, you're a justice of the peace, right? Yeah. Could you call this peaceful for this no, family? But the police have advised us not to let you guys in. The behaviour at the moment with you guys being here is causing fear to Shirley. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm giving you the move on direction from this area. Terry and Shirley were once trusted family friends and running a respectable funeral home. But this site has now been seized by the bank and is up for mortgagee sale. While well, the Goaters owe the Maori Council thousands in unpaid burial fees. We're talking about you here. And we Shirley. weren't in business anymore. Why were you doing a funeral if you're not in business? Because Judith wanted me to do her funeral. Despite claims they're out of the funeral game, Shirley's still the poster girl in this ad on the wall of the local services club and mums the word on whether she'll refund people who have prepaid her for their funerals. Are you Australia's worst undertakers? No. Well, there's could, worse out I there. I could name a few, yes. I was the one who brought the funeral industry out in the open, because I... But are you a former whistleblower? Yes, I am. Are you? I was the, one who, I was the one who started the Wood Royal Commission. Really? Poor old mum. I turn around sometimes, just give her a bit of a rub. <laughs> Diane and her sister Kay reckon their mum Judy is either turning in her grave or looking down on her funeral fiasco with a smile. 
do you think your mum will have the last laugh regarding this? Yes, she will. And so will Kay and I. Yeah. So will Kay and I. Well, Terry Gota has applied for an AVO against Diane and the matter will be heard in court next week.